good windy morning from Texas, everybody. Going to be uh, shooting on east today. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description as we uh, start climbing some, they look like mountains. Yeah, there's, there's mountains in Texas. Okay. Another glorious day in Texas as we head uh, east. Going to get about three hours ish, I think. I have a, a reservation at another Harvest Host tonight in uh, Fort Stockton. So, uh, I mean, beautiful weather. I'm wearing a T-shirt, even though it's a little hazy and dusty from all the wind going on. Uh, it's another beautiful day in uh, Texas, folks. All right, back on uh, I-10, Interstate 10 here, going straight uh, east through Texas. We are 600 miles from Dallas still. Texas is a big state. Uh, I'm not going to Dallas on this particular trip. I actually got to shoot down towards uh, Houston because uh, my mom and my sister both moved from Washington State to Texas this year. And uh, my plans is to spend Thanksgiving with family at their new places in Texas. So that's where I'm heading eventually, but I don't need to be there until Thanksgiving Day, so, you know, just kind of taking it easy, just getting some driving done. It's beautiful weather, like I said, so no rush. Hey guys, uh, I'm noticing when I look in the camera that it's not showing up, but we are driving through a, a dust storm that, it's really weird, it looks clear in my camera, but um, there there is low visibility right now on the interstate. 80 miles an hour, I'm not gonna go 80. I'm like topped off at 65. 65 is just a, a perfect speed towing. 80. Okay, now it's actually clearing up. Yeah, it was really dusty and stormy back there. It's Texas for you. Yep, there is food and gas here at this exit. Although I do have enough gas to make it to Fort Stockton. I'll have to check my uh, Gas Buddy app and, and see is it cheaper there or should I just top off here? Because Oh, that sign also says that there's a Loves in two miles after this exit. A little, little easier to get into a Loves truck stop, too, so we'll see. But let's find a place to eat. All right, off to our right, it says pizza and wings at El Tomate. Okay, okay. I like this area of Van Horn. Look at all the easy parking for an RV off to our right. That is awesome. Oh, that was a caboose right there. Huh. Wow, that's a colorful corner. Hang on, I am gonna head over here. Yeah, Chewy's has lots of nice parking for RVs. Nice. Yeah, that high wind alert, it's its real. When those gusts hit, like, at, like out of nowhere, I'm just being extra careful today driving the RV. Holy cow. And it's funny as a traveler, like people people around here probably walk by this kind of stuff all the time, but just a huge wall of wild cactus. And they're actually kind of pretty. They got little red flowers at the end of them, I guess. I don't know. Ow, little prick. <laughs> Get a load of this yard, guys. It's art. It's art everywhere. Oh, gosh, it's windy, though. I like the old tin can wall here. That's cool. Okay. And some creatures and some bugs and some spiders. Uh, and an ant. That's an old telephone booth turned... Maybe a ladybug supposed to be? I don't know. And look at this creepy beetle. What? What is it? It's art. It's art. Oh, look, you can even tow it behind your RV. That is definitely art. I always feel like the wind is just going to ruin my video when I get back, and then I'm always surprised by how well this shotgun microphone actually does. It really saves me on the road. All right, let's head back over here and get some lunch at Chewy's. Chewy's restaurant and Mexican food. One thing I will say is I love the bright, colorful greens and pinks and oranges of Mexican restaurants. I mean, isn't this great? The old truck there. There's a strange 
John Madden Hall of Fame, but Hall spelled H-A-U-L. I don't know what John Madden has to do with a Mexican restaurant, but I'm sure we'll find out here in just a minute. Yeah, let's go inside. Wow, that mural over there with the Greyhound bus, and I guess Jesus there with the cactus. And then, yeah, a John Madden corner here. The All Madden Hall of Fame. There's a John Madden visiting this place. <laughs> and uh, here's some old pictures of him as a football player. Also a, a famous football commentator. And the creator of all the Madden football games. Yeah, a little collection. <laughs> Quirky. All right, starting off with the chips and salsa. Look at that, homemade salsa, guys. That is crazy. Mmm, it's good. It's good. <laughs> what? It was a Mexican burger. <laughs> it was also really quiet in there, so I didn't really want to talk and say a whole lot. I had people like right behind me, and there's no music in there. It's really quiet. <laughs> Those are not usually times where I like to make videos and talk to myself with a camera by myself. Not that I really care that much, it's just... Anyway, the whole John Madden thing. This is one of his beloved restaurants to come to. He would come here all the time. That's why they have a table reserved for him in the restaurant. I think he just passed away like last year or something like that. Yeah, I've, I've played the old Madden football games on the PS4 and other systems before that even. So, all right, that was a good burger. Opie, unless you're driving, I'm gonna need my seat back. I I need that seat, that's my seat. That's my seat. You, you, you. Man, I'll bite you. You're starting, to, you're starting to sound like Tucker. Yeah, okay. Okay, what do these flashing signs say? Inspection station, two miles. 65 when flashing. Yeah, it's, been, it's probably been six or seven years since I've traveled this part of I-10 from this part of Texas. So uh, this will be the first uh, inspection station that I've gone through. It's Border Patrol. I know what they're looking for. Be prepared to stop. I'd rather not stop on the interstate when it's 80 miles an hour, but okay. <laughs> All trucks must exit one mile when flashing. Well, I'm not, I'm not a truck. I'm an RV. Maybe I don't have to, we'll see. No, we're going through the inspection station. See all these cameras off to our right? They're scanning my RV. I wonder what it looks like with Tara under my seat with a heat signature and Opie, wherever he's at, another little weird heat signature. They, they probably already know by this point that I'm traveling with two cats, probably. More cameras off to our left here. <laughs> Please have immigration documents ready. Well, my passport's put away. I wasn't, you didn't give me any warning. Hmm. And then it says lane one car, lane two trucks, lane three buses. What about RVs? Hey, there's a puppy over there. Kitties, put the catnip away. There's a puppy over there. Hey there. Hey, how you doing? Just me and two kitties. Have a good day. Just asked me how many we had on board. That was pretty easy. He already knew that though. Like I said, those cameras tell him exactly what you're traveling with. I've been traveling for over a decade now and I've spent lots of travel miles down here in the south where we have those uh, border patrol and customs inspection stations and um, I know from experience that I have a very split audience here. Uh, believe it or not, uh, there are a lot of people who are very angry with those and, and they just want to lash out. There are two different ways to approach those customs stations. One 
you can lose your mind and get angry and complain and resist and do the whole sovereign citizen and not roll down your window and draw a bunch of attention to yourself and just be angry for no reason. You do understand the oath of office, don't you? Uh, can you give me my uh, paper that shows that I got? Can you give me my paper that shows that I got? Uh, do you have any weapons on you? No, sir, I already told okay. you that. Or you can just smile, drive through, have a good day, move on, understand that they are protecting us and our country, and as long as you have nothing to hide, then you're going to be fine. Period. It's really not that big a deal, but again, I'm going to get a bunch of hate in the comments for not fighting the man and demanding that he not talk to me when I drive through. Come on, guys. It's I'm, I'm not the guy. I'm going to have a good day. Same thing with all my haters out there. Um, I don't know, I have no idea what's going on, but my friends keep wanting to send me all this information and saying, did you know about this channel? Did you know that this guy's still harassing you and bullying you and making fun? I don't care. I don't care. I'm living my life. I can care less. All right, we are finally getting close to civilization. Uh, Fort Stockton is just ahead. The sign says next four exits. That's where the Harvest Host is. But I've been really lucky with this high wind because it has been pushing really hard up my rear end. And I'm going to rephrase that instantly. The wind has been pushing the back of my RV along up. Jeez, Eric. <laughs> it's not been that interesting of a drive. Uh, <laughs> I got some notes from the Harvest Host. They don't open till 5, but they did tell me that we need to enter from Callaghan Street, not the other one where there's a steep hill, and we're looking for a yellow two-pole gate. Next exit. Well, we're on Callaghan Street now, so that's a good sign. That means we just got to turn left up here. Just look at, I think, one more block. Road closed. It says road closed, but I don't think that's actually right. But you know what? We are definitely in a flood zone because look at the little sign off to our right, the little foot thing. It says we're here. I'm a little confused. Once again, did we see a yellow... Here, I'm going to go over here. Oh, wait a minute. Bingo. This is it. Whoa. Got a white sign here that actually in front of us says Harvest Host Parking. How cool is that? Wow. It's a smaller lot. I am going to unhook the car and try to give this RV some space here. So I'll go up here, unhook, and we'll get parked. All right, well, I'm all settled here. Is it still a little windy? Uh, I've already met my uh, neighbor over here. He's actually a viewer and friend of mine on Patreon. Nice guy. And uh, this is it. <laughs> as, as strange as this is, uh, out here in Fort Stockton, uh, it's called the Old 76. It is an outdoor beer garden and wine garden. They don't open for another hour and a half. But that's going to be it right there. So it's it's nice outdoors. There is no indoor part of it. Uh, I guess this gate will be open and uh, it'll be a nice place to bring the kitties out to get some exercise and get some interactions with. Since I have an hour and a half to kill, I'm going to hop in tater tot and go do something that I like to do. Thrift for Mickey, Camel, and Harley stuff around town. And by the time I get back, Beer Garden might be open. And go get a, a local uh, brew here in Fort Stockton. So, I know, I see you two monsters. Hi, Tara. Hi, Opie. You guys, how you guys doing? We're not sneaking out yet. Whoa! <laughs> Did you guys see that, hear that? We are expecting 50 mile per hour gusts of wind and one just hit and busted my door. Holy cow. So now I can't close my screen door. It smashed the whole handle and broke it. So now I cannot secure the door. Awesome, thank you Fort Stockton. Now we have to keep the main door closed for the whole time. That sucks. That, man, it's weird because you can stand out there and there's no wind one second and all of a sudden you get hit by a freaking freight train out of nowhere. <laughs> 
I'll fix it. I'll look at it later. Huh. Well, I just I just got in Tater Tot, and I mean I've done this so many times before. There aren't any thrift stores in Fort Start Fort Stockton, Texas. No thrift stores. No flea markets. No antique stores. Nothing. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Bummer, that does not usually happen. But also I did talk to my neighbor. There there are some bad reviews about this place, mostly because it floods. So if there's any chance of rain at all, be very, very careful about staying here at this place. There is 0% chance, so I think we're gonna be okay for one night. But I always feel safe about leaving my RV here. I feel even safer knowing that a friend is actually gonna be here while we go out and grab a bite to eat and then we'll snack on some beer later. But uh, these Harvest Host locations are a wonderful resource on the road. It always makes me smile. I really haven't had a bad experience at any of these locations I've been to. And it always feels better to put a little bit of money back into local businesses and small town family bars, breweries, farms, and everything, rather than wasting that money on an RV park when I don't need it. I'm getting solar. My batteries are 100%. I'm good, you know? So. We'll go look around Fort Stockton anyway and see what we can find. Just a just a quiet little uh, Texas town here, Fort Stockton. See across the street that sign, five o'clock somewhere, beer and cold drinks. You see the see the animal, the uh, bird below five o'clock. Well, if you're a fan of Wiley Coyote and beep beep, <laughs> uh, Fort Stockton is home of the the biggest uh, road runner here out in town. <laughs> Looking pretty good there. Look at them claws. Yeah, that is a giant roadrunner. Me, me, pretty cool. And then they got this uh, archway here, historic Fort Stockton. I just checked Google here to see what Fort Stockton is known for. Uh, deep in the heart of West Texas. Are we in West Texas? I feel like we just got into Texas. Oh, that would be West, Eric, since we came from the West. Here's your sign. Boy, it's windy. And the number one thing to do in Fort Stockton, Texas is to enjoy barley pops. It literally says drinking. Fort Stockton is known for drinking. Okay, I like this place. <laughs> Gosh, it's windy out there. All right, well, you know, let's head back to the RV and wait for the beer garden to open. That way I don't have to drive around and I can get liquored up. <laughs> Not really, I'm not gonna overdo it. Or will I? It is the drinking capital of Texas. All right, there we go. That's some that's some redneck ingenuity right there. I wadded up a paper towel, which applies pressure this way. So once this is up in the locked position, it doesn't really open. I mean, it will obviously. I wouldn't try. I wouldn't walk away from the RV like this. But while I'm see, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> but while I'm inside, here, let's fold it one more time, give it a little bit more pressure, then pop that up. And now it, see how it kind of holds it there? Kind of, so I can let some air in. But yeah, actually just found it on Amazon for 10 bucks and it'll be here Monday. Awesome. Well, it's almost five o'clock, so I think they're gonna open that pretty soon. Um, I've been getting updates from Arizona from both Camper Van Kevin and Ed and Sue from Nomad Ranch and uh, their new snow accumulations and stuff and Opie has been watching it as well. We know Opie would put up with the snow, but I kind of like this a little better right now. All right, well, the beer garden's open. They got some local Texas beer, so I'm going with an IPA there, hanging out with uh, my friend up there. I don't know if he wants to be on YouTube or not, but we are the first two patrons of the uh, outdoor beer garden here. Sadly, there isn't any live music tonight, so not sure how busy it's gonna get, but uh, once the sun goes down, it might get a little crazy here. Well, yeah, there is a stage. If they, if they need some karaoke singers, I might have to volunteer. Yeah, I can hear you hollering. Wow. I don't think I've ever heard you meow that loud. You really want to go outside, huh? Well, you got your harness on. We got your, uh, got your little buggy. And uh, it's just a short little walk from here back over to the beer. You, you want to go? You want to go with Dad? No, okay, we'll bring the kitty. Tara, we'll be back in a little bit, okay? Tell everybody not to worry. She doesn't 
like these kinds of outdoor social forcings. So she gets to stay here all comfy in the RV while me and Opie go party. We'll go party. Can I see your ID? Your, your ID. Okay. Good, good thing you're cute. Yeah. Opie, what do you think? You're in your first beer garden. He's a beer garden boy. Yeah. I am uh, gonna test out every beer they have here. So trying the uh, apple ale. Actually, it looks like a really dark. Might not be an ale. It might be an. Hey, they're gonna check your ID. Okay. They're gonna check your ID. You'd be a good boy. Oh. Yeah, get it some. Get some, buddy. You tell them. Opie was here. Opie was right here. That's what we say. Okay. Good job. Good boy. What do you think, Opie? This place approved? Is it Opie approved? Okay, man. All right, Opie, you ready to go back and tell your sister all about it? Make her all jealous? Yeah. I think you've had it. Okay. All right, Opie, here we go. Cool thing about this place is you can just walk from this uh, rear entrance of the beer garden right back to your RV. And they'll even let you bring your beer out here because they own this property. Normal patrons would not be able to bring their beer out to the parking lot, but I just turned on all my underglow. As it gets dark, you'll start seeing some green underneath and everything. Wow, there's a lot of birds. Yeah, let's go see Tara. All right, guys, ready for this? I'm gonna say it. This is my second best favorite harvest host ever here in texas in fort stockton texas awesome man i had so much fun and plus bob was so much fun actually <laughs> we we uh played played some cornhole and nobody else wanted to play cornhole but bob and i played cornhole apparently it was only his, his second time but uh he beat me one, one of those times and he knows that i love i love my bud light so he brought me some uh bud light there <laughs> it's awesome we we had an awesome time and again, I know I say it all the time, guys, but Harvest Host is a great, wonderful resource, a great place to camp. You can even run your generator here at some of them, but you have to turn it off at certain times. Uh, it's just an awesome time. I had, a, I had a lot of fun. So I'm gonna uh, stop slurring my words and uh, <laughs> uh, edit some video. I'm gonna, uh, oh, I forgot where I was. Uh, I'm kidding, Opie and Tara and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.